to talk with Ted about legal representation at a closing and the difference between a buyer rep and a seller rep. Yeah, I thought this was a good topic to discuss um, just because th the lines get blurred a little bit when a lender reaches out to us um, and says, hey, um, you know, uh, you, you'd like, you know, we'd like you to do the, the closing um, for the buyer. Generally, um, at that point, we we are really lenders counsel, you know, um, and even if let's say, you know, if you reach out to me um, as an agent and say, hey, um, I got a buyer for you, you know, they're going to use this lender and the lender sends us a title order. It's it's more that we are a, a lender's counsel on that transaction than we are a buyer's counsel, you know, um, you know, the because the, the, they send us the title order, they engage us, you know, you know, this is this is the general rule of thumb. The title work is run um, with no difference between um, it being a, a, um, a lender transaction that we're, we're, we're issuing a title insurance for the lender or the or that buyer, because the, the goal is that it has to be insurable title, a marketable and insurable title and uh and that is for the best interest of that buyer as well right mm -hmm. so by doing it for the lender you're really kind of doing it for the buyer as well it gets a little cloudy too uh when the the, the seller will say uh you know i don't have an attorney why don't we just have you do the documents for my closing mm -hmm. so so um so that that's an important uh point as well because i am um handling that piece of the transaction uh with the assumption that there isn't a conflict of interest and uh, and so um, you know I'm kind of like the uh, the middleman you know where I'm I'm the mm -hmm. facilitator. There are times where you know we have to take a position. And so let's say if there was a dispute, you know, like a, an issue, uh, we have to take a position of like if the if the um, the relationship came through um, the buyer's agent, um, you know, uh, let's say you, for example, or, or from the lender, then I'd have to say to the to the seller, look, sorry, seller, you're going to need to get your own counsel and handle your um, your this dispute um, with that counsel. I can't. It was document prep for you only, but it mm -hmm. no longer is that, you know, because we have an issue now and you really need to get your own unbiased counsel to to handle the affair. Let's say it was, um, you know, uh, an inspection that was done at a property. Everything was fine at the time the inspections were done. It kind of was uh, agreed to to be handled in a certain way. And then, you know, the 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 work that the curative work or whatever was supposed to be handled uh, wasn't wasn't handled appropriately. And then we find this out at the closing. And now we're we're, um, you know, having to shift uh, responsibilities. So. Yeah, so I think it's important to 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 let people know that that you know that this can happen. It doesn't happen all the time, you know. And, no. and so most right. of the time, transactions go pretty smooth. And mm -hmm. and you know when we're asked by a seller, hey, can you um, you know handle the doc prep for us? Um, you know we can do it. But but uh, but the you know just to be clear. Um, you know, that's more of an accommodation uh, than it is, um, you know, because we're, we're, we're able to do it, assuming that there's no um, no conflict of interest. And it's it's a it's a um, it's a facilitation of the transaction. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if we get the closing, we're issuing the title and pol title policy, um, you know, our allegiance is really to that lender and that buyer um, as a result. I think that the root um recent um uh root cause of this um shifting is really because of covid and and uh you know which i don't know if it's really a necessary thing anymore um we can potentially go back to the way it was because you know it's just it just became uh, a norm now you know where each side um handles their own side of that transaction and uh and we don't uh, all meet at the same table anymore i'm you know that i i like the, the the ways that it was um you know before because um if you had an issue even if the seller's counsel was there um everybody was at the closing table we could hash it out nice and easy mm -hmm. uh, right in front of um the parties um and there's no miss miss you know misunderstandings um it's all worked out you know the way it should um now it's worked out through emails through phone calls it's a little extra uh, some more steps it's